welcome to Coffee and Conversation. My name is Honorine, and today I'm with Hania Nusier, who is pursuing a master's in public media interest and communication. Hania, welcome and thank you for being with me today. Thank you for having me. Um, Let's start with an introduction. My name is Hania Nusir, like you've mentioned. Um, I'm currently a graduate student pursuing my master's degree in uh, public interest media and communication, and I'm working on uh, two uh, graduate certificates, digital media production and multicultural marketing communication that I'm really excited about. Um, as an undergraduate student, I also pursued my undergrad bachelor's degree at FSU. Um, it was in advertising and I minored in entrepreneurship, which was so exciting. Um, after I graduate, hopefully I can public publish some academic articles uh, that I'm excited to work on as well. Um, I'm really passionate about advertising and that's what is really all about my major and my areas of research and my focus. Um, I guess regular kids had coloring books and fun stuff to do. I had black and white storyboards to color uh, that my dad used to get back from work because he used to work within the media field. So as a young girl, I used to see him with all those computers and machines and things. I remember like a very old Apple computer that was like green and white and it was really funny I'm not that old but <laughs> it was really fun to to play with and um he really I guess instilled that love and passion for media I was always curious to look for the new filters when social media really became a thing um as a young kid and I really used to watch him do post-production magic that he used to do on his computer and I was really fascinated um so I guess feel free to assume that advertising and media is in my genes or I'm born with um and like <clears throat> my grandma also used to be kind of fascinated with the Instagram filters and thought I am the one who created them and I was like yeah I did and I was like joking with her so it was a really sentimental value in terms of my love and passion for media and things that I do within practice and the internship opportunities that I've had and all that so tell me more about those internship opportunities Sure. Um, so I was part of different aspects of media. So I had to try on me media and marketing and communication and then social media. And then I had project management and media planning uh, opportunities. So I had really a lot of wide variety of experiences uh, in terms of internships that really helped me lay out a good foundation in terms of skills I need to work uh, in media in the media industry after I graduate so that's your plan to work in the in the media industry after you graduate no desire for a PhD it's 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 a thought that started to kind of rise up because I was recently um I recently went to um a conference an academic conference so it really sparked that PhD idea it's still marinating in my head not sure that's what I want but it's it's definitely a thought and it really it was really interesting to see and be part of of a, I guess a scholars community and see really the value of PhD things that are happening kind of behind the aspect of like oh you want a PhD degree there is a lot of things that goes within it and it was really fascinating and interesting to me so it's something that I'm kind of considering but still yeah still deciding <laughs> but right now your interest is more to go in industry yes what would you do? Hopefully I would work in uh, the advertising or media industry, either on the entertainment side or at an advertising agency. I'm really interested in account or strategic uh, kind of roles. That's kind of where I'm geared towards. I'm kind of the sweet soft spot between creative and kind of strategy and like research and consumer insights. That's kind of really my areas of interest. So hopefully I would find an opportunity within these kind of roles that I'm interested in. All right. Tell me more about what you research during, as part of your master's degree. Uh, sure. So I do a lot of research. Uh, I, I'm doing my thesis right now. Uh, it's on users and gratifications theory. So basically motivations of why people use a TikTok platform. That's kind of my areas, uh, my area of interest. So it's really interesting to, to really shed light on that. Um, and I guess like my all other research papers are within kind of 
Gen Z uh, media consumers, which are individuals born within 1996 or 1997 to 2012. Uh, but within our research, we obviously do 18 years or above. That's kind of my area um, of uh, like the target consumers that I usually do my research on. I'm really interested in consumer behavior and psychological aspects of why do they do this? How would they do this? And then really see how all these factors would impact their purchasing decisions, for example, or their attitude towards a brand or stuff like that. Um, and I'm also really <clears throat> recently started to uh, develop interest and focus uh, my areas of research on Web 3.0, which is basically things like artificial intelligence, VR, AR, um, chat GPT, that's really gaining so much popularity at this point. Um, and really how all these experiences uh, can connect and appeal with Gen Z consumers authentically. Uh, because I'm a Gen Z and I know that Gen Z consumers particularly are ones who are having high purchase power and purchase intentions are increasing because they are starting to have different financial means are growing as they are growing older. So that was really um, something that I was interested in. That's so fascinating. Do you know how those generations like Gen Z, Y or whatever, how are they divided? It's such odd that, you know, the, the generation started 1996. I, in my mind, it should be like 1990, 2000, 2000, 2010. Like why, why in the middle? Is it because of, you know, the creation of internet and such? Yeah, it's because of different technological aspects and it's like different age cohorts that they divide based on demographic factors, based on technology factors that impacted that, based on visual content that they were able to see. Like, for example, when I was talking to my mom, she was like, you have Google to search everything for your master's program. And like, you just like literally go to Google Scholar or even FSU library and find all the resources. She used to go to the library when she was doing her master's. Um, and she had like a lot of books that she had to go through to 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 pursue her degree or like write her papers right now things are very different that's so that is kind of one aspect of why they devise those generations among that so oh, that's great let me um let me ask you more about um you when you're not in your research um what do you like to do what are your passion what are your hobbies what do you like to do in your spare time Sure. Um, I, I love scrolling on social media. It became a force of habit. Uh, but I also really appreciate and love yoga. I really like to meditate, have my own time, clarity. I love horoscopes. I'm an Aries, so right now it's my month. I, no, I mean April will be my month, but it's it's uh, I'm an April queen, uh, so it's coming soon. Um. And yeah, these are kind of the things I love. I love hanging out with friends. I really love the the aspect of being part of a community, being part of a supportive community. So I really do appreciate my friends and family that I hang out with, have a time to chat with them, you know, and um, have that time for by myself. So, yeah. Are you part of any special organizations or communities in Tallahassee? Or at yeah, FSU? Um, within FSU, for sure. I'm part of the uh, Center for Hispanic Marketing and Communication. I love them all. Shout out to them if they're listening to this. Um, it's it's led by Dr. Chapa, Cindy Chapa. She's the director of the center. And she really fosters that aspect of community and togetherness all together. We really want to support each other the amount of love and care we have for each other is 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 honestly amazing and i really appreciate them all and also the center really helped me grow both personally and professionally through activities that i was part of or things that i've done collaboration events that we hosted we host different students from um hispanic students who come and and attend florida state you know, and they are Hispanic students who are looking to be part of FSU, they, we have a couple of uh, different collaborative uh, efforts where they would come and they we want them to be part of the FSU community when hopefully they want to enroll in college and universities. Uh, so all these trips are really insightful. I love to see the kids. I love to see everyone there. Um, as well as the College of Communication Information Student Leadership Council um, with the leadership under the leadership of Betsy Crawford. I love them. We get to meet with the dean and really share our ideas, our thoughts, our concerns, everything 
of that sort and they always host different events and things and i really love being part of this community as well during my undergrad i was so much more active but right now uh things are a little bit different i'm also a global ambassador with the uh center for global engagement mm -hmm. and i really love the the, the global community at, at fsu and um i am an individual who really believes in the power of globalization and internationalization within everything that we do looking at things with a broader perspective or a wider lens is really essential when doing anything and really within any discipline as well um so yeah Nice. For my last question, where do you see yourself in five years from today? That is a question that I ask myself every day. <laughs> uh, but I, as of now, obviously things change all the time. Uh, but as of now, I see myself hopefully going to the industry and being a successful independent woman in that industry. Um and within the media or advertising industry is where I see myself within uh, five years and hopefully being successful. Do you have a, a goal, like a company in mind or a state in mind or even a city in mind? Um, uh, fingers crossed, the opportunity doesn't land me in a cold state because I, I don't, I, I love Florida. I am from the very few people who really enjoys Florida weather but um i would definitely go wherever the opportunity takes me because i really am looking for a company that would help me grow both personally and professionally that's my key i really want that good work environment that fostering I, as I, as i've mentioned before community within the the company that would help me grow and push me forward because i will be new i would really be a sponge learning everything and grasping everything that's happening and i really want um, that support because as me personally I will do my best to succeed in what I do and that is that is all what matters to me oh that's the perfect way to end this interview awesome. thank you so much um, Hania for your time it was it was great to know more about you and you seem very passionate about what you do and about your involvement on campus um, so that that's always great to hear thank you mm -hmm.